never go near the castle's west tower. Hear me? How come? <laughs> A witch lives there, so it's not safe. Whoa! What? She's scary? She is. The scariest in the land. So promise she'll stay away. Please. Sure. We'll stay away. Didn't say we'd avoid it forever. That's right. I want to see if there really is a witch in there. Come on, Elf. The coast clear? Seems to be. Go! <laughs> A feeling. Ready to open them? Uh-huh. Wait, it's so normal. Yeah, odd. Uh, just a book. How boring. I don't see a single magic tool. You'd think that a witch's room would have them everywhere. I know. That's interesting, isn't it? Not really, but stuff inside might be. Then let's open it! Cold! But how? What is it? A witch's brew? That's my best guess. Is it? It has to be! Remember that story Mother read to us before? People who drink this potion can use magic spells. <gasps> Let's see. It smells really sweet to me. Huh, I can tell there are eggs mixed in. Well, let's try some. Elf, is that safe? Why wouldn't it be, right? <laughs> What the? It's not coming out. Huh? I know. Use this. Thanks. Good thinking, sis. Um. Sweet. Tastes just like it smells. Um. Slow down. Um. Don't hug it. I want to try some. Fine then. You weren't kidding! It's good! Oh my! What are you doing in here, children? <gasps> Elf, I think the witch is back! I'm scared she might kill us! What, what do we do? What else? Prepare to attack! <laughs> uh, uh, auntie? Not only did you sneak into my room without permission, but you ate my pudding, too? What? You're holding the dessert in question, so do not play dumb. A dessert? I thought for sure it was a witch's brew. Nope. Just a really yummy treat. Do you not have anything to say? <sighs> Sorry, Sorry for, for barging, barging in. in. It, it was, was wrong. wrong. <sighs> no harm done. Though I must ask, what brought you in here to begin with? We were exploring! Is that why you're here too, Auntie? No, I can't say that it is. This is my room, after all. Wait, then <gasps> that means... You're the witch mother <gasps> told us about! Yes, I suppose that term works. I prefer sorceress. We've been related to a witch all this time? Oh gosh, you're not gonna eat us, are you? Never in a million years. Not unless you're pudding. You won't? That's right. What a relief. Do you live alone in this tower because you're a witch? No, that has nothing to do with it. It's thanks to my elf ancestry. You live here away from everyone else because you were born part elf? I do. A half-elf prince did something terrible years ago. Half-elves have been disliked by humans ever since. So I live here out of sight and out of mind from people. But why are you being punished for something that prince did? How mean! It's all right. It is for the best. 
My younger brother rules the country while I'm dedicated to the magic arts. It helps that your father is such an upstanding leader, too. I just now realized! You can show us magic if you're a witch! That's true! Very well. Return here tomorrow by noon. I'll show you what real witches can do. <gasps> <laughs> we'll be here! <laughs> This door? It's magic? Real, Real magic? magic? I'm so excited! What makes it magical? Because that door has the power to transport us to another world. Another world? Wow, what kind of place is it? You'll see for yourself once we get there. Hey, Victoria! Children? That's a first. I mean, not that they're not welcome, of course. Uh, uh, they're my niece and nephew. Go on, be nice and say hello. I'm Alfred. Hi. And I'm Margaret. Mm -hmm. Pleasure to meet you. You can call me Aletta, all right? I'm glad you're here. Um, thank you for having us. Yes. <laughs> I know what I'll order for the children, that's a given. But what should I get for myself? I can't teach them bad habits by starting with dessert in front of them. What's something that has eggs and milk? Ah, that sounds good. I'll have the carbonara in my pudding a la mode, of course. Also, there's a special menu you have here. One only available for children who are 12 and under, if my memory hasn't failed me. Ah, you mean the children's lunch special? Yes, I believe that's the one. Is it available at this time? Should be, but let me go and double check. Master? Yeah? What's up? Do you have the ingredients to make the children's lunch today? Sure, piece of cake. I was hoping you'd say that. I'll let Victoria know. He said children's lunches are available. Perfect, then I would like two of those, if you please. Great, it'll be up in a bit. This place is really... Weird, yeah, I know. It doesn't have windows, but it's still so bright. It's not a bad kind of weird, though. Much for waiting. Here's your carbonara. <laughs> and two children's lunches. How strange. Mm-hmm. It's different, but still. Looks, Looks tasty. tasty! Question, what's this pink thing? It's just meant for decoration. Oh. Oh, that cup! It's filled with the same dessert from Auntie's room! You're right! Looks even sweeter today, huh? No, sir. Please finish the rest of your meal before you eat that. <laughs> Truly delightful. Wow, cut right through. Smells great. Um, mm. Mm, it's delicious! The flavor of well-cooked meat really is something else, especially when you mix it with whatever this sauce is. Hey, Auntie! What's the circle covered in sauce? That's a Hamburg steak. They form finely ground meat into a patty and cook it. Oh, okay. Well, it tastes amazing. I have a question, too. Sorry, but... What's the thing with the red tail called? They call it fried shrimp here. It's shrimp coated with breadcrumbs and then, of course, fried. Fried shrimp? The inside looks neat. It's both soft and crunchy! Fascinating! And this one? The white ball? Potato salad. They use cobbler's tubers to make that dish. Oh, let's try it. Mmm, mm. mm, there's a sour zing to it. Combined with the yellow bits for texture, it's good. Red stuff wrapped in eggs is delicious! Do you know what that is? I do. 
it's omelet rice. <laughs> hey there, ketchup face. You're not much better, Al. <laughs> Plates are cleaned. May we please have our pudding? Yes, you may. <gasps> um, how, mm, it's, it's just, just as good as yesterday's. yesterday's. If I were to have children of my own, I suppose every day would be like this. <laughs> Funny how having a meal here with my family never crossed my mind until now. Thank you! I'm one happy full boy! Yes, this place is more magical than I could have hoped! Well, I'm glad I could share it with you too. You're as precious to me as pudding. Much sweeter, though. Speaking of food, um... Is today it? Or may we visit again sometime in the future? Of course you may. I'd be disheartened if you didn't. Ah! We're coming back! <laughs> <sighs> what a dull kind of day. Come one, come all! Hmm? You're just in uh, time! Who, me? Step right up. Now, don't be shy. Don't miss our stew made with special sauce. It's straight from the royal capital. You can have one bowl for two coppers. Get it while it's hot. Looks like an average white soup to me. It's not, though. It's got this stuff called night sauce that blows your taste buds right off your tongue. Really? Stew can taste that good? Better than oh. good. I guarantee it's the best soup you'll have in your entire life. Try a bowl and see. We'll give you an extra big helping, since you're our first patron of the day and all. Don't have to twist my arm. <laughs> Thanks, mister. Here you go. Hmm. Careful, it's hot. Right. Oh, ho! you weren't kidding. This stuff's overflowing with the sweetness of Irani and the richness of milk. Mm. The meat's as soft as the tubers, and it's packed with flavor. Seconds, please. I'll take a bowl, too. I'd also like one. There's plenty to go around, folks. Mm. It's all true. Best stew ever. Wow. And there's a way to make it better. Why not try enjoying it with some bread? Use the bread like a sponge to soak up the stew and get a mouthful of goodness. You know how satisfying hot and soft bread is. Well, imagine that, but a burst of this stew gushing out with every bite. It takes mealtime to another level. Oh. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Get your fresh bread right here, folks. Perfect for dipping in stew. If you've had a long week, come over and treat yourself. One loaf of brown bread, please. You got it. The same here. Oh, oh. Mm. <laughs> Yesterday don't matter, cause today's the day of Saturn. Right! What meal are you in the mood for? I'm not sure yet. I couldn't eat any of our stew since it sold out. So something with night sauce sounds good. <laughs> I like where your head's at, Pake. <laughs> Nearly there now. If the halfling we bumped into a while back was right, it's in the clearing there. Aha! The sacred door! All that's left to do is confirm nobody else uses this one. Mm, that's right. Gotta make sure the lizardmen and red lady don't favor this door. They literally killed to get their prized food. Anybody out there? Nice. All clear. I noticed that the path we traveled wasn't very worn down, which is another good sign. If people came here often, the grass wouldn't be this tall. Yep, I'd say that's more than enough evidence. Ready for some great grub? Yeah, always ready. Welcome to Nikoya. 
Well, if it isn't Pique and Pake, it's been too long, you guys. Yes, it has. So long I forgot the specials. Today we have cream croquettes. Wow, awesome! Yeah, good thing we were craving night sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Give us two orders of cream croquettes for starters. I'll have rice with mine. Bread for me. Both excellent sides. Seat yourselves wherever you'd like and I'll go put that in. I'm starved. How about you? Famished. For now. So many things to try. It's so little time to try them all. True. If only we could come here every day. Oh, now I'm going to have dreams about it. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate your patience. Here are your cream croquettes, fresh out of the fryer. Oh. I think I'll start with the one that has the red spiky thing. Oh. Mm. <laughs> so good! That sea breeze flavor. Mm. <laughs> yeah, rice goes great with it. <laughs> Bread too! Do you know what this red stuff mixed in with the night sauce is? I don't. But its texture is different from fish, that's for sure. Excuse me. Sorry, but we can't place what the red stuff is in our cream croquettes. Give me a moment and I'll find out. Sure. <laughs> Heard you had a question. It's called crab and... Oh, wait. It's a conzer. Conzer? That's a new one for me. Can you elaborate more? Well... Um... It's a sea creature with hands like scissors and a body protected by a hard shell. Oh! Thanks for the assist, Kudo. It's nothing. We've seen creatures like that before. Yep. Just didn't know they were edible. Next time we make stew with night sauce, mm. how about... We use some kanzer instead of our usual meat. Okay. I'm sold. Which croquette should I eat next? Hmm... I'm picking this one. Then, I'll try this one. There's smoked salmon and mushrooms inside. Oh. Mm. <laughs> the savoriness of the filling ingredients really strengthens the night sauce. <laughs> and it also goes great with rice. This one has shiny yellow chunks in it. Oh. <laughs> There's a burst of sweetness that gushes out when I chew the chunks. When paired with the sweet night sauce, it may as well be a dessert. It complements the bread, too. And third one's the charm. I think they're all charming. <laughs> How charmed are you by that one? I'm smitten. Fully. <sighs> Ready for round two? Mm-hmm. Excuse me, Kudo. So, we really like that. Enough to order it all again. Your order has been accepted. Gosh, this place! Yeah, it's great! Another batch of cream croquettes! Enjoy! This is pure bliss. You'll have to roll me out. So, are you ready to leave? Hate to, but got to. Delicious as always. We'll see you soon. Hopefully sooner than last time. I am so impressed. Those two are incredible. Yeah, I'll say. Never served that many croquettes. Two, four, six. They had 15 plates apiece. It's not that surprising. Halflings are known to consume more food than humans. Such giant appetites, and yet their bodies stay so small. I can't get over how good those cream croquettes were. Was there one that stood out to you more than the others? Huh. Well, I think I like the one with Konza in it the best because it tasted like I was eating it straight from the sea. Me too. Great minds. 
Let's visit the beach when we get a chance, PK. <laughs> we can look for Conzers. Think we'll cut it? Only one way to find out, so let's wake up bright and early tomorrow morning and head for that big port. Good thinking. Oh, I almost forgot about all the townspeople. If you and I leave, then none of them will get their night sauce. Don't be so sure. I taught that nice baker in town how to make it. Really? Then I guess we're setting 